Okay, this is from Scouse Giraffe, who's got a question about some arch pain. It could be plantar fasciitis, fasciitis, fasciitis and is um, is wondering. It's got a is asking about a boot recommendation. One of the first things you you can do when you get a pair of new cleats or something that may help with whatever cleats you have is making sure that you you bend them, you bend them like this, right? Start to bend them and make it make sure that there's flexibility there because that could lead to some pain and some tension if there's a lot of resistance from your cleats to go like this, right? You want to make sure that your toes, your toes, they absorb, right? You want to have, they're like, they're like shock absorbers, right? Your ankle, your, your foot, and your feet and your toes. So if you, if you don't, um, if you don't, if your shoes have some tension here and make it so your feet don't allow your body to absorb uh, the force from the ground and the force you create, that could lead to some tension. So make sure that you're bending your 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 cleats like so. Even um, your running shoes, you want to make sure that there's right. Bend them like that. That could help. You could even tie them back, or or make it so right. Clamp them down. Or just set them up in a way that they can have some nice bend to it, right? So that would be that would be my step one. Step two, um, oh, where do we start? I've been I've been work working with these shoes. These are zero. These are shoes from zero, zero shoes dot com or yeah zero shoes dot com, right? Zero shoes dot com. Super lightweight, super lightweight shoes. And I think there's a quote that goes, high tech shoes, low tech feet, right? So you wanna, in theory, give your, have not that much room, you wanna have, this is gonna make it so that your feet do what your feet are supposed to do, right? Th thousands and thousands of years of evolution, right? Your feet are, are they're smart, right? But if you put, if you're putting surfaces in between them, if you're making it so that they can't spread out or absorb, um, the force from the ground, right? You may be you may be doing yourself a, a disservice. So um, this is just a zeroshoes.com. Uh, I would check them out. I personally love them, but they may not work for you. Uh, second thing, or third thing. I'm sorry, third thing. Um, one of the cheapest ways that you might be able to relieve some tension: double golf balls, right? Double golf balls, um, just by rolling rolling the feet out right that's gonna relieve some tension i got some right now i'm feeling right so just the right the, the body's connected from fingers from fingertips to your toes so just getting into different motions and and stepping on the golf balls letting your feet expand um that could relieve you know a little bit of tension so i do this um as much as i can Right, and th that'll feel nice. Some, some nice, give you some nice relief. What else can we do? Um, what you want to do, ideally, is create an optimal surplus of strength and flexibility in your your toe and foot. Right, so you want to start to develop um, feet, foot strength, and balance, so that you can absorb or you, you can deal with the stresses that your body's putting on your feet. So, some of those tools are Slack Block, right? From slackbow.com. It's just a fun, it's a fun tool, right? You go two minutes, two minutes parallel, two minutes parallel, you could get up on your toes, right? Two minutes here, you could go two minutes perpendicular here, two minutes perpendicular here, Go two minutes, two minutes diagonal, and you could have someone start to throw you a ball. You could throw a toss a ball um, to a wall. You could work on, right? You could be here. You could work on your juggling, it just with uh, three three ball juggling, right? Develop a juggling practice, and again, this is going to strengthen. It's going to give you balance in your in your feet and toes. That's going to start to work on creating an optimal surplus. For your body right because what's happening is right your body can't handle something something you're doing you're saying playing on hard ground is making causing a problem 
So this is going to strengthen your feet, right? Strong feet, and that's ideally going to have less pain in your feet. Um, that's that's a that's a third tactic. A fourth tactic we got um, with no tools, no tools at all. You could spend some time walking on your toes like this, right? Walking around. You could spend some time walking on your heels, right? So just again, strengthening your feet. You could spend some time walking on your outsides, right? Outsides. And then walking on insides. I learned this from a girl who's a sprinter at Westside Barbell. Inside. So just strengthening, right? Different, different ranges of motion. Just having fun with it, right? Moving around in the squatting position, bending, twisting. That's another tactic. Okay, what else we got? You can use resistance bands to again strengthen your foot give yourself some strength um, right strengthen the foot so you could go like this and you could start to do gas pedals inversion eversion right hold it from here gas pedals roll the ankle clockwise counterclockwise different ranges of motion right Again, with a loop band, just a different band, put it around your back, wrap your ankle. So there are two people who come to mind who are mass, who, who will teach you this better than I can. The first is Dick Hartzell. The second is Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy. It's pretty popular. Uh, Dick Hartzell is less, po less popular, but uh, super effective, right? You can start to work one minute a day, two minutes a day. You want to, right, your, your feet have lots of little tiny tendons, bones, ligaments that's gonna work multiple ranges of motion and you're gonna start to um, see immediate improvement if you start doing something like this even five minutes a day, right? You work both feet. Uh, what else we got? So, I mean, just those things alone, after this video, pull the trigger, start to invest in your own, um, in your own health and wellness, right? You want to ideally be pain free within the next three or four days. So right, I would order a resistance loop band or a set of, set of uh, those bands, different, different sizes. So you could start, you know, working that, working that ankle, building that foot strength, solving this problem. Another thing you could do, I got a Bob. I got a Bob Calf Master, Amazon.com, 90 bucks. And from here, right, you can do uh, working um, some knee pulses. And this is also going to, you could feel it right in the Achilles. This is going to strengthen that ankle, that foot, ankle, ankle, knee complex. Uh, you could switch this thing. What you can also start to do is build some power, some strength, right? use a little barrel and now I'm doing ankle rolls right ankle rolls different position positions of the foot ankle rolls as long as you're, it's pain free this should be a this should be a way right this should um, definitely strengthen those the feet and ankles and that's gonna again give you that optimal surplus of strength to deal with the demands of your body what else if you got a lot of if it's super painful and you just need immediate immediate pain relief, we have here, this is a spiky, right? That's a spiky, just search spiky mat or acupressure mat on Amazon, right? Spending some time and this is gonna relieve some, some tension in your feet. We also have nail board. This is a sad, sad who, S-A-D, H U nail board that you could start to spend some time standing on. Oh yeah, right. So just we get, so what I've shown you are a whole bunch of ways to relieve tension in your feet, strengthen, and you're gonna just strengthen through high volume repetitions, um, and that's about it, right? You start to do rotations, right? So. You could you work some balance, then you work, uh, then you relieve the tension, right? So you're going on and off of, of strengthening and restoring, strengthening, restoring. 
the golf balls, slack block, spikes to the bob, to the spikes, you know, do, do a ro you're doing rotations, right? You could spend, you start to do this when you're just watching TV or listening to podcasts, whatever. Just relax, get to your breathing, and start to work work on this. So I hope, hope some of these, uh, these tools help. I would start to pull the trigger on, on any one of them and then uh, reach out with any questions. All right, thanks for your time. Ah. <sighs>